Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at the new trailer that Bungie released not too long ago. And they basically showcase a lot of the new exotic weaponry and armor as well. I, I like a lot of it. I think uh, some of these are going to break the game for a little while. But overall, I expect a lot of people to have a lot of fun with the new exotics. So, let's look at the trailer. So the first weapon we're going to be looking at the, is the No Time to Explain that has the Personal Protection Portal perk. Essentially, once they get that kill with the grenade, they get a Arc Soul, which if you guys don't know, Arc Soul is an exotic, uh, or not an exotic, but it's a subclass perk for Warlock's Bottom Tree, if I remember correctly. Uh, I wonder if they can stack together... I wonder how viable that's going to be just because I don't know if a lot of people are going to be really hyped up for it. Uh, if it comes with the perk from Destiny 1 where precision hits also give you your ammo back, then I think that would just be an extra thing for this weapon. But overall, I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Next weapon is going to be Cloud Strike with Lightning Precision Strikes, which essentially means a oh, big ass lightning from the fucking air it's pretty wild uh let me know in the comments below what you guys think i think personally that may be a little too powerful because as you guys can see once that headshot connects they they all die with off of one precision hit they all die i don't know if that's gonna be the best thing in the world this exotic's probably going to be used a lot in trials, just because can you imagine like one hit and everyone goes down? I'm personally excited to see just what the fuck they're going to do with that. But yeah, again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Next one's going to be the Lament Shred Barrier Shields. This is the one I personally don't know if I would be able to use just because... Like, why would you use a sword for high-end activities? Because obviously... That's the only place you'll ever see uh, barrier champions. Uh, I, I personally would never use a sword uh, unless I'm doing like the strike on earth with the with the boss phalanx. Other than that, a sword is just like very risky. So the next the next uh, exotic armor piece we're going to be looking at is the Icefall Mantle. Replace barricade with the overshield. So essentially... Once you activate your barrier, you get an overshield. I think this is gonna be super fucking viable. I'm excited to use this, and I wonder how it's gonna work in PvP, or is it just, yeah, you just get a free overshield. So we'll see. The next one's gonna be for the Hunter's Mask of Backers. Shift replaces Dodge. So as you guys can see, not only do we shit, like we teleport, but it's that teleport's pretty meaty, man. I. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for this one personally just because that dodge is pretty meaty. It's it's pretty oh, I'm excited. I as you guys can like probably tell I'm excited. I think the armor looks gross, but overall this is probably going to be my favorite exotic for the hunters obviously. So the next one we're going to be looking at is Athery's Embrace Superior Weighted Knife. So I wonder what they mean by superior weighted knife just because it kind of sounds like we get an extra bounce unless and this is a big big one unless it just returns the weighted knife to how it used to be in like season of dawn i think if it returns it to that then it's like this this is gonna be fucking mean this is gonna be one of the meanest like exotics for sure because if you guys don't know the Season of Dawn Weighted Knife was completely different to this to the Weighted Knife we have now. The Weighted Knife in Season of Dawn was low-key stupid. It, it tracked really, really dumb. So, if it gives us some form of that Weighted Knife, then this is probably going to be a really good exotic. If it doesn't and it just gives us an extra bounce, I don't give a fuck, really. This is probably going to be like the shittiest exotics for Hunters. Just because if we get an extra bounce, like... Do you know, I, I love when, when Bungie shows shit like this, where it's like, pink, pink. It's like, dude, like, fuck you. No one does shit like that. No one, it's so scripted, bro. Like, I just don't see people doing this. So, 
Yeah, Bungie, if you revert it to how the sort to, to how the blade was back then and give us an extra bounce, sure. I'm okay with it. If it's just an extra bounce, then it's gonna be kind of high key trash, not gonna lie. So then so the next exotic's gonna be Dawn Chorus, improved burns, and daybreak damage. Uh no one uses top tree or bottom tree for the damage, so I don't know where their thought process is, honestly. Uh yeah, I do I just don't I don't I don't know where the thought process is like I don't, I don't, I've never talked to a uh, guardian where they're like, you know what? I really wish top tree and bottom tree were just more viable. Like never. Uh, uh, I don't know. I we'll see how the damage is, but I personally just think these are, these are the trash, uh, exotics for warlocks. Not saying it's bad. It's just like, why? So the next one's going to be necrotic grip melee spreads poison. And that poison spreads, boy. That shit spreads. Not only that, but they die pretty fast. So, hopefully Bungie is actually showing us something that's going to be in the game. Like, because if, if the poison's this bad, then I'd be okay with it. Uh, That'd be pretty cool. I would definitely wear these. Just because that that's pretty, that's pretty foul. But what's probably going to happen is... It's not going to be that powerful, unless it is, and maybe, but I, I just don't see them doing this because the poison travels super fast and kills so fast, and I'm not saying I don't want that. That shit would be fire. Just saying, I don't think Bungie would do it. I think they're just kind of, uh, I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So, the next exotic is going to be Precious Scars revive creates shielding aura so essentially what it probably means is when you revive someone so you get an overshield that's connected to that everyone I, I i don't know like this one i want to i want to see what this one does because this could probably be good in pve it's just it does this work in pvp as well like I, there's just so many questions uh personally uh I don't know, man. It's such a weird one. That's the thing. It's like, I think this trailer is just weird because, like, I see a lot of like exotics that are like, "Oh, this is cool. This is so cool," and then like exotics like this, where it's just like, "This is okay. Like, it's weird, but like, whatever." And I think this is the exotic, the the hunt, the Titan exotic. There, it's just like, ah, uh, like, why would I use this? Like. Like, per, like, really? Like, why would I use this? I don't... Does it work in trials? Like, I'm just kind of... I'm confused a little. Not gonna lie. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite exotic. But, yeah, that one's just... I don't know if that one's the play or not. So... The next exotic is going to be Salvation's Grip. Launch Stasis Projectiles. So, this is the one we saw in, uh, in the trailers. So, essentially, you just throw this grenade launcher and it creates stasis and that's pretty much the trailer as you guys can see the deluxe edition stranger pack we get the we get the exotic ornament frozen in time for the no time to explain and we get the catalyst which just says portal fi fires faster that's pretty shitty exotic okay or catalyst and then the exotic no any other sky that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Personally, I think this trailer was pretty cool. Showcased a lot of cool ideas. And then just some that were just kind of like, why though? Like, personally, I, I don't like... I don't like a few armor pieces. I think the... I think the Icefall Mantle is, like, the strongest one for the Titans, obviously. And the Mask of Bacchus is the strong one for Hunters. And I think the Necrotic Grip are the strong ones for Warlocks. I just don't see a point for the Dawn Chorus for the Warlocks. I just, I don't know many people that want Dawn Blade to make, to like do more damage. Like, is this going to be something we kill bosses with? No? Okay then, like why would I use this? Like, I don't understand that. And then the Atheria's Embrace, unless it, re it returns the Weighted Knife to how it used to be in Season of Dawn, and we get an extra bounce then that would be cool but if it's just an extra bounce 
then how is it superior? It's just, you, instead, you should have just said extra bounce, extra weighted knife bounce. Like, I don't understand. And then last but not least, Precious Scars, I think, is just an odd one. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just... Uh, revive creates shielding aura. What does that mean entirely? Like, does that mean that we all, like, let's say someone revives me and now we all are connected. Does that mean that we're all sharing a, a, an overshield? Like a fat one? Like, what, what does this mean? I personally, I would probably use this in like the new raid. The new raid would probably be good for it just because of how hard it's going to be. But... Oh, I could also use the new arms for the titans that give you an overshield. So I don't know, man. This one, this one just kind of seems like high key car garbage to me. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. For the weapons, I think uh, I think most of them are really fire. I think the no time to explain is really good. Uh, I just hope that good because if it's just an oversold that does that that that's the whole thing then. That oversold better better save my my life so many times. I'm, I'm mm. also the catalyst is kind of disappointing. Just shoots a little faster. I would have loved it if uh, you know if I get damaged and like let's say my health gets low to the point where it's red. I would have loved it if my over or if the protection portal thing would actually kind of implode and heal me while it implodes or something like that. Just a little bit more creativeness would have been great because just shooting faster, I don't know how I feel about it entirely to be quite honest. I think the Cloud Strike is going to be stupid unless they tone down the damage for for the Lightning Strike. Just because I feel like the ability to be able to kill someone with a headshot, especially in Destiny's environment right now where we have so many cheaters, it's just going to make pvp even more gross and not like just i i don't even want to be in it to be honest like ugh. i think the lament the sword is cool in like as a concept but using a sword for high-end activities is just kind of like suicidal so i don't i don't know it's just a lot of choices i'm just like but like why though like i don't why like a sword that it sounds cool but in high-end activities, dog, I don't know if I would use a sword. Like, that's weird. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I, like I said, I know I just shit-talked a lot of weapons and armor, but I'm excited for most of these. I, like, honestly, aside from the Warlock helmet. I just don't, don't see, a, like, a point for that one specifically. But everything else, fire as fuck, dog. I'm excited to just try new shit out. And let me know in the yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm more excited to see the new weaponry as in like legendary weapons and the new armor we're getting. Uh, I hope we get another showcase of armor and weapons, just because all I've seen is the weapons from from Europa and the armor from Europa. So I'm hoping we get more. If not, it's gonna be kind of bad. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support, and other than that, we'll see you guys later.